This is Chris Kelly with three key exercises you need to be doing for a stronger core. When we talk about core training or tightening up areas, specific areas of our stomach, I think one trap that a lot of people fall into is just doing things like leg lifts to strengthen the lower abs or torso twists or uh, you know, side planks to strengthen the, uh, you know, the side abs. When really the biggest thing comes down or the biggest uh, question we have is you know, why is this not happening in, in particular? You know, in most cases, this has to do with sort of a, you know, a, a weakness or maybe just a lack of activation in areas of our body associated with these muscles. For example, with women that have had, that have been pregnant, you know, that have sort of a, a flabby lower stomachs, oftentimes the pelvic floor muscles have been compromised, you know, and there's a little bit of uh, weakness or, you know, insufficient in that, that area. For, for people with, you know, air issues with the outer abs, Oftentimes, you know, we have weakness of maybe the glute med, you know, the outer hips, that sort of thing. And what, one technique that we've been found to be useful in cleaning this stuff up is the facilitation of these areas with some common uh, pieces of equipment like a, just a small, you know, uh, play ball here and a mini band. All right, so what I'm going to show you are just some techniques that you can utilize to instantly improve your results really with any exercise and direct the force to the right places that we're looking to tone. Okay, and for, first we're going to start with the lower abs, all right? This is something that, you know, I'm always told if, if I can tone the lower abs, I'd be a millionaire. So hopefully I'll be picking up my checks soon because what we're going to do is incorporate, uh, just, is squeeze the ball between our feet here, all right, and just shake a couple drills, all right? So for our first exercise, all right, this is called a leg extension, or a, a dead bug leg extension. What I'm going to do here is press my hands into the wall, all right, that's immediately going to help to tighten my abs, and at the same time, I'm squeezing the ball between my feet. Okay, definitely important that you point the toes downward, but throughout this exercise, I want you to think about really squeezing this ball as hard as you can, pausing at the top and coming back. All right, both of these things are going to help, to help me to tighten my lower abs here, tighten my adductors, my inner thighs, and really drive the force to where I'm looking to direct here. Again, 30 seconds, move slowly, control, and that's what we're looking for. All right, our next exercise is just going to be a toe wiggle. All right, so I'm going to keep my legs straight here. And I'm just wiggling my toes forward and back, just squeezing this thing as hard as I can, really focusing my effort on just keeping the pressure on this ball. All right, if we want to get a little closer to the source here, we can also squeeze the ball between our knees and do the same thing. All right, I like to try both positions, and again, this also helps me to really strengthen my adductors a little bit, tighten my inner thighs up. You know, that's also something that people are looking for. And again, you can incorporate the toe wiggle in this position as well. All right, now when we're talking about the, uh, you know, the outer abs, the external obliques, the lateral external obliques, sort of our side abs, uh, what we like to do is utilize our mini band here. All right, with this, what I'm going to do is place the mini band around my knees. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do in this position is come to a plank position. I'm going to spread my elbows and my, my legs really wide, right? I'm going to cue the client to press into the band. Really, they'll start to feel it more here in their, their outer stomach, their lateral obliques. Right? Tighten everything up. Come into a plank position. Keep everything wide. Crawl out with your elbows. Crawl back. Rock back on your toes. And just keep pressure that band. And what this is doing is directing force into these areas in particular, so it's kind of tuning the brace into the, the regions of the stomach that we're really looking to hit. Okay, and again, 30 seconds in this position. All right, now from here, we can also do a situation where we just hold the plank, okay, and we can push in and out on these. So, again, I'm just holding it static now. I'm pushing in and out with these. I'm kind of just trying to externally rotate my hips. And again, this is hitting sort of the outer hips. The, uh, and the connection between, you know, the external obliques, you know, in my gluteus medius or my, you know, my outer thighs here. Once again, I follow up a, a moving exercise with more of a static exercise where I'm just kind of trying to push out against the resistance or push the resistance in particular. That technique is very, very useful in terms of tuning the specific areas of the stomach that we're looking to define along in ab circuits, all right? So, um, as a summary, when you're looking to, uh, you know, tone the kind of the outer portion of the stomach, keep the keep the legs wide, press into the band. This outer this press outward will help to kind of focus force here. 
Whereas when we're kind of squeezing the ball between our knees, between our feet, you know, we're getting more adductor, inner thigh, and, you know, by extension, lower ab as well. So those are just some simple tips that you can utilize to really direct force into the right areas of your core and tone up those areas of the stomach that we're looking to hit.